Times are tough nowadays. Man, do we need an upgrade to our business. We definitely could use one. I know, I'm driving on the wrong side of the road. Let's get to it. So right out of school, I pretty much partied away all my money. And this is what I could afford. Uh, yeah. Have a plan and try to stick with the plan. The good news is our business license, our uh, fertilizer application permit, license, all the business things you need to start out a lawn care business finally went through. So we might be able to convince a banker for a loan now. I mean, we're legit. We're not uh, just a podunk young kid start out with a little bit being mower. Oh, driving off the road, man. Little AB mower and uh, POS Falcon. Yeah, it's a POS. Let's face the facts. This is our humble abode here. Let's just say we are scraping by. We are definitely scraping by. I have plans to upgrade this. Uh, yeah, I know. I know. I, I spent a lot of money. I probably spent all my uh, savings, everything I have, I'm still paying for them college loans. But I bought a model Curtis uh, prop plane here. Why not? I wish these were really 50 cals and then I could really. But no, no, I, I definitely wasted some money. I need to be smart businessman. I need to start up just started getting my plans together i got my permits i got everything i need to start a lawn care business right now i call it stevio's clippings i know i know that that is one horrible name i mean most people think i'm a barber i mean how how dumb is that name i need to i need to sit down with a pen and paper and like work on that i, I know i can come up with a better name than stevo's clippings because huh, i mean i think i confuse more people than i get customers let's just say that i got a, a little uh 332g uh starter out mower here i mean it has the upgraded bagging system it's not made for hardcore uh, lawn care use. You really have to get the upgraded deck and all that stuff. Yep, yeah, I got my old dad's truck here. You know, it, it hasn't run in years. Uh, this is what I rode to school. I was actually very uh, money conscious when I went to school and I just rode a motor bike everywhere I went. I stayed in this uh, old camper right here, pulled it with my uh, beautiful Ford Falcon. Pop a hood on this thing, and then you might be impressed. It does have a red line uh, gas notification. It just beams a red light right in your face. You really know when you should get gas in there. But uh, this V8 big block here. Yep. It's worth probably 10 times what the car is. And it's amazing that this rusty old beast can actually pertain or uh, harness all them horses. It, it is amazing, but it works. Broke out all my headlight covers. But, I mean, who needs them? That's just, that's just beginner stuff here. Don't really have too much. We have this old uh, sassy massy here. And let me tell you, this thing is sassy when it comes to oil. I'm pretty sure I put more oil than uh, diesel in this old girl. It, it could definitely use a little engine uh, overhaul or at least swap. But uh, that's a lot of money. I'm thinking about just upgrading it. We got to talk a banker into giving us a loan because I'll tell you, the business, I mean, uh, once you start getting your permits, your license, everything, that stuff all adds up. And then, uh, you know, all your money you saved up is like, uh, my bank account's empty. I don't have nothing to spend. 
But uh, we need to put some oil in here. Not diesel. Doesn't need that until another day or so. But get a couple quarts of oil. Uh, because if you look around this place... I mean, how can you have a lawn care place with uh, chest-high grass here? I didn't grow up in the nicest conditions, so I I'm, I'm probably need some schooling on uh, business etiquette. I, I, I know I can at least put some paint on some of my buildings. I ended up just uh, building my own little house here with uh, conaxes, just uh, welded them together. And it, it is, for a bachelor, this thing is nice. The only thing problem with this is uh, it's only a bachelor pad. It'll never be anything more unless you, you can find one heck of a woman. Let's just say that. But this thing, uh, it's adequate for me right now. Uh, I probably really should sell my Curtis and uh, maybe buy a business. Pick up a few quarts right here. All right. Put them in here. A few quarts should at least get us about a half hour of use out of this tractor. Uh, then we'll have to stop again and refill. You definitely do a lot of dipsticking when it comes to this tractor. Let's just say that. Oh, yeah. It's always a, it's always a good morning when this thing actually starts. I did not close my car door there. Oh, uh, yeah. Just barely, oh, oh. I'm going to tap that old rusty truck. I just knocked some of the rust off the bumper. That's all I did. Alright. First, we're going to mow around our place here. Yep, yeah, there we go. Mower actually works. Look at that, uh, making dust. Don't hit a tree. Just want to make sure, one, to keep the snakes from uh, trying to get into my house. Two, just to clean up this area better. Man, is this grass high. Probably should have did this right when I started this, but been so busy actually uh, trying to get customers and get uh, new clients that uh, kind of neglected the important things. Some after this thing gets warmed up, it actually goes per, at a fairly good speed. You'd be amazed at how uh, powerful this is. Something might fall off it, but at least it'll be going at a good speed. something respectable it's, uh, you know one of the worst things about my uh, little garage here this old baby won't fit in it just get just the tip of it underneath that uh, garage mufflers are too high the cabs too high oh well there we go Trim down all these uh, weeds around here. Sorry, I got to talk loud because this thing is uh, quite loud. If you haven't noticed. I'll tell you what. I don't know if all you guys have ever run a weed eater for long periods of time. I have not personally in real life. And uh, I cannot figure out how to run one and not get my back almost on fire every single time. Maybe I just have bad posture, or maybe I'm just holding it wrong, I don't know. 
while I'm thinking about it and you guys are checking out my rear side, make sure you like this video. It helps me out a ton, and I sure do appreciate it. All right, enough of this. You guys are probably getting annoyed by this sound anyways. All right, finally done with that a little annoying thing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you like this type of video. If you like me to make more of these types, don't worry. I'm not going to stop farming. It'll still be in farm sim. But I'd like to just change it up a little bit, you know, just make the content a little bit interesting. But if you like it, make sure you show me by smashing that like button. Leave me a comment. If you have an idea that I need to do or you think I need to do, put it down there. I appreciate it. I try to answer everyone. I know it's hard to get every single one. Bear with me. I'm full-time military, so I try to get to everyone I can. But thank you all for watching again, and I will see you later over here in the show. This thing would make a great flower pot for the front of our yard here. Just need to drag it up there. Just plant some flowers. You know, the, the motor's rusted shut anyway, so that's no big deal.